Oh, I don't need this. What's up, YouTube? My name's Quickie. Welcome back to the channel. So I'm having a really bad time. <laughs> I should be either at me work working, doing the welding thing, working on my own business, or working on Jixit, and you're here to see Jixit. And I know what I'm doing there, I've got that sussed. However, I've been thrown yet another curveball, and I don't need it. This is starting to do my head in. <laughs> my van went in for the MOT. Uh, yeah, this is, there ain't gonna be any work on the bikes in this one. You're, basically, this video is to show you the sort of crap that I'm dealing with, and having to get it done and out of the way, and that's what's taking the time. So the van went in for an MOT. That'd be fine, I thought. And Mr. B, it's been great. <laughs> anyway, they lift it up on a ramp to check out underneath it, and when they did, bits of the suspension fell off. <laughs> oh, shit you not. <laughs> bits of the suspension. Um, do not drive until repaired, cause it's failed. Dangerous defect, with an exclamation mark. Uh, McPherson strut attachment bracket mounting likely to become detached offside front. Well, it did become attached because it hit him on the noggin as it fell off the van. McPherson strut attachment bracket mounting insecure and impairing directional stability. Offside front. So it's all on the offside front. However, I, I need to get it fixed. Um, and then little stuff it needs doing. I've got a lamp that's not working near side front. That's fine. Track quad end has excessive play near side front. Um, and the horn isn't loud enough. That's it. So somehow, I need to get all this sorted. But this is, this is the stuff I'm dealing with, right? I want to be doing the bike. I know what I'm doing. I've got the stuff to do it. I've got the tools to do it. It's just a case of doing it. I can't do it though, because the van's gone and got all Rita Hayworth again, and now I've got to fix that. So, I went down to my local auto parts dealer and bought some stuff. That's, that's, the, that's the mounting kit for the top of the suspension here. It looks quite serious, actually. If that fell off, <laughs> we're in trouble. And I've also got some track rod ends. It is now, what is the time? It is four o'clock. It's four o'clock on Tuesday. I'm supposed to be at work at three, so I phoned them up and got a couple of days holiday, because I ain't sure I'm gonna get all this done tonight. It is freezing cold. Hence the woolly hat and not the baseball hat. It's getting dark, and now it started raining. <laughs> oh, good, it's gonna be a long night. I oh, know it's gonna be a long night. Right, I need to make some space because I am poking the front of the van in the shop. I ain't sitting in a puddle doing this. Um, and then we're gonna get it done. <laughs> Just to show you the problem, hopefully you can see in there, that's the top shock mount. And it looks a little bit loose to me. <laughs> and there's the other one. Can you see that? Can you see that? There you go, right at the back there. Cause of course it would be. Oh shit. 
Right. Well, it did say on the thing, do not drive until repaired. Let me show you. Uh, do not drive until repaired. Defects. Yeah, I totally ignored that and went and got the bits. <laughs> I wish I hadn't now. Right, okay. Let's um, divide and conquer. I'm gonna start on this side first. We'll get it jacked up, get the wheel off of it, put some axle stands underneath it just so I don't squash myself. Um, it's not the best way of working. Oh, here comes the rain, look. Can you hear? <laughs> oh, today's a rubbish day. But yeah, we'll get it jacked up and then we'll start pulling it off apart. Hopefully it comes apart okay. Um, and then I can just crack on. We shall see. problem that I'm having is stuff just doesn't want to come undone. Um, I read through the Haynes book of fairy tales and I needed to compress the spring. I haven't got a spring tensioner. So, a quick phone call, Sam can you go and get me one from Alfred please? So she's nipped off and got me one. That's on. So that was nice of her. But stuff just does not want to come undone. Not like at all. You cow! Why are you doing this to me? I'll feed you. Go! Bloody hell! There we go. Come on! It's dark. How long have we been doing this? I'll pass five. <laughs> it was daylight a minute ago. What happened to tea time? Mm. Right. Let's give this a go. Might be loose enough, you don't know. Believe in something, it will happen. Which <laughs> is not for me. <laughs> I hate this van. Oh, come on. The trouble is, my pride, the, this bar is too long. To, oh, there we go. There we go. Oh. This is all the extra junk that you don't see. So when you're sitting at home on a Monday night or whatever it is going, why hasn't he posted a video yet? I'm busy <laughs> doing crap like this that I shouldn't have to be doing in the first place. Mind you, it is an old van. Bits is going to give out, isn't it?
and the airline ain't gonna reach over here either. So I can't even use me, me daka daka on it. All right, let's have another go with that. vans I hate vans with a passion now <laughs> oh, that's it. it's like what 2007 I think seven eight somewhere around there it's not had a very easy life um, it hasn't really been looked after that well either um, if I'm honest <sighs> I'm basically running it into the ground before I need to get another one. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's handy for work, just picking up bits and pieces and doing tip runs and all that sort of, you know, getting steel and whatever else. But it's more a case of necessity than want, really. I'm a bike person. <laughs> Take these clamps off. The only trouble with bikes is they ain't that practical. You can't just chuck stuff in the back of it. You can wear a backpack. You ain't taking much around with you though. And I need this for my work basically, so um, it is what it is. Hopefully, when I replace it, eventually I'll be able to replace it with something a little bit younger it's not quite so knackered <laughs> if I'm honest I'm just fixing stuff when it breaks that's it um, general servicing and all that sort of stuff but I mean I never even knew that this was a problem on this um, it drives all right I'll go down lots of roads with potholes in. If you live in Plymouth, I imagine you do as well. Oh, can I stop blowing in? I'm getting wet. Um, steering's fine and all the other stuff. However, Mr. MOT man wasn't happy. And when you look at it, I can understand why. That was nice of Sam to get these for me because I'll be buggered else. There's no way I could have gone and got them because I only had three wheels on my wagon. <laughs> All right. Come on. There we go. Are you coming out? Or are you just going to hang up on everything that's up there? Oh no, you're going to hang up on everything. There we go. Right. Oops. Uh, what's next? I'm not happy with that link. I am going to get another one. Just because it didn't want to undo. Let's hook the brake line back in. He's in. So that's one side done. Time is now quarter to eight. I've got the other side to do yet. Yeah. <laughs> I'm having a cup of tea first.
be fair, um, I'm not very kind to this. Just because it's not a bike. <laughs> no, I'm not very kind. It's just a works van, basically. Gets me from A to B, carries all sorts of junk with me, and that's it. So, although, I mean, I do do like, you know, get a regular all and filter and change the brake fluids and all that other sort of stuff. Um, I tend not to go over it from front to back, checking all your rubbers and all your unions and all your boil joints and all that stuff. I don't do any of that. And if you're honest, you don't either. So don't start picking <laughs> stuff like this. I just fix when the MOT man tells me I should have done it ages ago because it's now failed. Um, but none of this was an advisory on its last MOT, so you know, it's what it is. It's just if I did service it and look after it a bit more, an awful lot of these bolts and nuts and stuff would probably just come undone because at the minute they don't want to. Um, I can't really use the blowtorch on any of this either, because that's a gas-filled shock, and I don't want it to go kaboom. So, nothing more than a wire brush and a bit of WD-40 and plenty of elbow grease, and we should get it done. What's the time that, oh bloody hell. Dinner has been done and dusted, all the washing up's done, and all I've had is a cup of coffee, and I'll let that go lukewarm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get on with it. the new shock mount as it comes. <laughs> Don't need instructions. <laughs> <laughs> so as you can see, big hoofing piece of rubber. Um, it's got a thrust bearing in the middle of it. Uh, as a cap goes on top, then obviously you've got a nut that fixes the whole thing together. So that's what a good one should look like. Not too shabby. Um, so that's that one. Um, first one I pulled out, well, yeah, I mean, the washer was all right. <clears throat> this, this is in better days, because the, the thrust bearing, oh, well, I don't know, can you see? Yeah, it's not there, it's here. Don't look too bad, does it? Just a bit grubby. And then you flip it over. <laughs> It still moves. I mean, you know, it's a bit grunchy. <laughs> so that was the one out the left hand side. Um, and then we got the one out the right hand side, which is pretty similar actually, if not a little bit worse. I don't know if you can see in there, but it's all chewed up where the bearing's gone. Um, still got obviously the cap on top. That's fine. A little spacer. Um, the bearings, um, well there's a bit, uh, there's another bit, <laughs> and I found three ball bearings. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I've been driving round on this, look! That's not very really good is it? I should probably change that. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least I've got three decent sized wool bearings that I can do the three points of contract tip. Just to get a flat surface, basically. So I'll be sticking them to one side. Ideal. I knew today was going to be a good day. Right. Let's see if this one's any better than that. <laughs> Thank you. 
Right, looks like I did drop some oil. <laughs> Sand came in handy after all. Well, what did you get up to on your Tuesday evening then? <laughs> that would have been more fun than mine because I froze my buns off. It's Baltic here, it really is cold. <laughs> um, did have a bit of oil on the, the, uh, the workshop floor. I think where I was monkeying about with the bottom linkage and everything else, it popped the prop shaft out. It's all gone back in, it dries fine, there's no funny noises or anything else. But a little bit of oil did squeak out. So I've got to check all that now before I go driving it. Um, but anyway, that's it. So I have got uh, another job to do because they gave me the wrong flaming track rod ends. And they only gave me one, which is really annoying. I'll be mega upset if it fitted and I only had the one. So I've got to take them back tomorrow, get the right ones and get them fitted. I've also got uh, a light that's out on the front and apparently the horn isn't loud enough. So I need to, it could be a wiring thing or something, I don't know. But anyway, the dangerous do not drive until it's fixed, they're all ticked off. So now it's just basically sort the light and the horn out essentially and the track will end. Um, they're all fine, just a tiny bit of play, but that's it. So I'm in here tomorrow again doing that. So that's my wedding's discovered. <laughs> I wanna be doing bike stuff. Um, but I wanted to do this video just to show you it's, um, I'm not in here doing bike stuff on YouTube all the time. Basically, I've got um, a welding job that I do. I've got my own little business that I do out of here as well. And then, you know, there's obviously the YouTube stuff on top of that. However, all these jobs just soak up the day because um, I tend to be up at eight and I don't see my pit again until, I don't know, half one, two in the morning, something like that. Rinse and repeat all the way through the week. And then Steve goes down at the weekend, so I don't even get a kip in. <laughs> so, if you do have to wait a day for a video, or I do miss a week, it's not because I'm lazy. It's because I'm chasing my horse again. <laughs> uh, but there you go. So that's the whole reason for this video. Um, if you do have to change the top shock mount on a Vauxhall Vivaro, don't do it the way I did. I'm not a mechanic. I couldn't even get the, the flaming anti-roll bar link off. So I had to do it all still hooked up but it's on, it works, and that's where I'm leaving it. Thank you ever so much for joining us. I hope you're staying safe, and we'll see you again real soon. Steve-O is back at the weekend. So we have got stuff we need to be doing, and we've got probably three different things that we could do, um, but we are on it at the weekend. So uh, that'll probably be the next video, and we'll see you then. Laters!